Step one is to plan how you want to paint your walls. The first thing you need to do is look at your available wall space. Then browse through your CD to look for designs. Pick the designs you want and make them into transparencies. Project these designs on the wall. While operating your projector, adjust the transparency size by adjusting the projector head. This will adjust the design to meet the need of your wall space. Play with the design until you find what you like. If necessary, adjust the transparencies around light fixtures and doors. We recommend that you use two or three transparency projectors at a time to better plan your wall space. After placing your transparencies according to your liking, trace the figures on the wall with a black permanent marker. Remember that flipping your transparency will give you another perspective. There are many obstacles you may encounter when applying your tracing. Before removing the obstacle, see if you can creatively interweave the obstacle into the artwork. For example, we drew a street light around an already installed hallway light. This created a 3D effect. The best way to transition buildings or scenes into your design is by adding a bush, a stand of grass, or a sign with a Bible verse on it. You may want to use other ideas like using a fence, adding clouds, or adding building details like bricks or trim. After tracing your design on the wall with permanent marker, we recommend that you design a paint by numbers palette. On the CD, you will find that 16 colors were used in each theme, and each space was assigned a color number. Use this as a guide to where to paint what color. Write the color code numbers from the sheet in the corresponding spaces on your wall. This is especially helpful for the volunteers and utilizes the paint by numbers technique. Do not use permanent marker for the numbers as shown here, as paint generally will not cover. Pencil is a much better idea.